Well, I'm actually originally a chemist, um, and uh, I, I came into doing space science and well, support as a support staff for space science, kind of almost by accident. Um, I just I saw the job and it looked interesting, so I applied for it, and I've been there for um, almost five years now. Um, and I guess what attracted me to it is it was a chance to participate in something um, that felt important. It felt like important research. So the cluster mission studies the Earth, um, and it studies uh, the Earth's magnetosphere, which is the projection of the Earth's magnetic field into space. Um, and that has implications for things like the aurora, um, but also for what's called space weather. So space weather uh, is the interaction between the sun and the Earth. And sometimes things happen on the sun that really strongly affect the Earth, that can do things like cause power outages or knock out satellites or things like that. So this monitoring of the Earth's magnetosphere and its interaction with the space around it um, is, is important. It's, 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 it's especially vital as we become more dependent on technology and, and on the technology that's based in space. Well, I guess what we're hoping is that people will learn that the Earth has a magnetosphere. It's not that the magnetic field is not just what we experience on the ground, but it, it projects all the way out into space, farther, much farther than the, our atmosphere, um, and that it's it's vital to protect us from the sun because um, there's so much solar activity and, and solar radiation that uh, that that can damage us and might even have prevented life from developing on Earth. We might have ended up like being like Mars rather than being Earth um, if we didn't have the magnetosphere. Uh, so we're hoping that uh, people can get involved with uh, a couple of our exhibits. We, we have a planetarella, which shows how to generate an aurora. Um, we have uh, an exhibit that you, you have to detect the, um, the invisible fields. Um, uh, using using a magnetometer, it's actually a, a space-worthy magnetometer. These they haven't been to space, but they are they are they are the, the same technology that we use now. Um, and I guess get to, get to play around with the magnet with magnets and um, see how magnetic fields are generated. So, so the, the cluster mission um, consists of four spacecraft. They fly in formation. They're they're, they're in a tetrahedron and they're spaced um, at, well different different spacings. Um, but it takes about 57 hours for the cluster, mission, the cluster spacecraft to go around the Earth. Um, it's been in orbit for 10 years now, uh, and the orbits have changed quite a lot. Sometimes they go over the poles, sometimes they come very close to the Earth, sometimes they go really far away. Um, and the idea is to explore as thoroughly as possible the magnetosphere, because it's not a static object. It's not, it's not like the, the field just sits there like those lovely butterfly wings that you get off of a, um, a, a bar magnet when you sprinkle iron filings on it. Um, it's, it's being pushed around and pulled by all sorts of different forces all the time. And uh, so we're hoping that by monitoring it, and we've been monitoring it pretty much continuously for 10 years, we'll learn some more about how it works and, and how, how it protects us from the sun.